everyone it's just a storyline and all i need is a few minutes to address this foolishness god told me and my husband to create the very first christian nightclub here in la so y'all saying god told y'all to open the first christian nightclub so they had to tell y'all they were first and then she had to let you know that it was her and her husband so it was not an emotional decision it was both of them right now christians have nowhere to have fun like the fact that you could say that um, Christians don't have anywhere, nowhere to have fun. It's because you're still carnally minded because you're, yes, you have taken out the drinking and the smoking out of the club, but you have still taken something from the world and tried to make it Christian because you're playing Christian music and you're not drinking and smoking. So that's your way of having, having fun. Had you have a relationship with Christ, what the world think is fun and what God think is fun is two different things because the world, you have to do something to make you feel better, but after it makes you feel worse, like the drinking, the smoking and partying, you get caught up somewhere, somehow in these things. Nah. We're not going to normal clubs. We're not going to bars. No, we we ain't. ain't going to parties. No, we ain't. So Christians need a space to turn up in a wholesome environment that yes, allows us to just be united for Jesus. Y'all stay lying on Jesus and God's name. Y'all stay doing that. So the fact that you even use turn up. First Peter verses four and three says, for we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles. When the Bible talks about the Gentiles, that's people who are not doing God's will. So you want to turn up. Yeah, you're not going to party in. And plus in that same verse, that's where it's talking about rever revelries, if I, if I pronounce that correctly. So that's lively, noisy festivities. Yes, it's you not drinking, but it's still lively in festivity. And number one, it came from the world. It is from the world. God is a creator. He's not a follower. He's not going to take something the world established and then tell you guys to change it to Christian. God is a creator. He is a creator. He doesn't copy. He's not a copycat. He is a creator. God is a creator. He's not a copycat because people, some people seem to don't understand that God is a creator. I mean, a true creator, you know, some people be calling themselves creator and then them, they be stealing stuff from people, copying people. God is the original creator, the true creator. He doesn't copy from humans. He doesn't copy from the devil. He doesn't copy from people because he's a creator. So what, if he's a creator, why would he tell you to take something that was already created by humans, wherever it came from, and then tell you to change it to Christian? It don't make sense. This, okay this is the start of a humongous movement okay see what she says this is the start of a humongous movement because they come these carnally minded christian has come to change the face of christianity because they need to put christianity down to people level to reach people because you know they have to help god because the bible isn't enough what um what we know of god is not enough they have to do a little extra and do stuff that accommodate people hey there yes. will be christian spaces and on every corner representing fun that we can have without weed drinks mm. and other worldly stuff mm. man what are you talking about the concept of a nightclub is worldly it was never foundationally christian everything you have to look at its foundation and the nightclub pastor g craig lewis addressed this in truth behind hip-hop number eight and he goes into detail about, you know, nightclubs and why they have certain, the, why they have the lights and why they play the music at a certain level, what it does to you. So Pastor G. Craig, The Truth Behind Hip Hop 8, you should watch that. And that's going to explain to you a lot of things. But anyway, the foundation of a nightclub, this is a quick Google search will let you know this. So it says a nightclub, a nightclub is a club that is open at night, usually for drinking, dancing, and other entertainment. Okay, let's go a little down because that's Wikipedia. If you want to do like a quick research, history, early history. In the United States, New York increasingly became the national capital for tourism. 
I don't even need that part. Let's go. The first nightclub, that's the part I need. The first nightclub appeared in New York City in the 1840s and 1850s, including McGlory's and the Haymarket. They enjoyed a national reputation, reputation for vaudeville. I think that's like various entertainment. I don't know why they just didn't put various entertainment. So they had a reputation for various entertainment, live music, and dance. They tolerated unlicensed liquor, commercial sex, and, gam and gambling cards, chiefly faro, whatever that was. So early history of nightclubs was always linked to things that go against the Bible. So how can God reveal to you and your husband to open a nightclub which is foundationally built upon debauchery and things that is against the Bible. Why would God tell you some, to do something that goes against his word? So that's where he tell you, did you even hear from God? Because sometimes we have a graven image of God. We make an image of certain or certain things we know of God. Some maybe what we um, knew when we were younger, maybe something in the Bible we don't understand. And then instead of going to God, uh, 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 and praying so God can reveal to you what does that mean or whatever. We make a graven image of God. And then that's the God that talks to us because God would never let tell you to do something that goes against his word. So that's obviously something else that's talking to you because whatever open door and we all, nobody's perfect. We all have open doors. Sometimes we think we hear God and we don't, but what's going to make you know that you know that it was God. It's not going to go against God's word. It's not. And sometimes, like I said, we have open doors in our life and things we may hear, we may think we heard something and it was not of God. You just go back and regroup and, and, and do it again and ask for forgiveness or whatever. But for God to tell you, and then she had, they had to let you know that they the first, they're the first. God is a creator. He is not a copycat. He's not a follower. He's not a follower. And when we don't have an when we don't have a solid relationship with Christ, we think we still have to do worldly things to have fun. And that's so sad. And you these people are leading a lot of people astray. But one thing, because y'all stay lying by God, say God tell y'all to do this, God tell y'all to do that, and that's y'all. One thing about foundation, if God is the foundation of this club. We will see. If he's not, we will see it. This one thing you can't rely on God. You're gonna. We, people will eventually see if it was God who told you to open this club. That's all you have to do is wait, wait and see. If you want to open your Christian nightclub, go open. No, open your Christian. This is not the first time people have opened these Christian nightclubs. You know, well, I don't know what the standard is because. If you could open a Christian nightclub, when people start twerking and start grinding on each other, you can't really say anything because, hey, we're grinding and twerking for God. Because you open a nightclub and nightclubs usually is for the world. So we grind on, we grind on each other in the name of Jesus. That's, that's, that's what, this is what, this is opening up. Of course it's wrong, but that's what you're opening up because you said that God told you to open a nightclub. So y'all could turn up and do wholesome stuff. So why would you not think it's going to infiltrate, it's going to turn to that way? Come on. The standard, the foundation is supposed to be God's word. But how can it be, how can it be God's word if it's something that came from the world? God is a creator. He is not a copycat. He's not a follower. Never was and never will be. You got to know who God is. So when you know who God is, so when these people come with this foolishness, you got to say, uh-uh, that's not what the word says. Like I said, if God told you, we will see. Anyway, that's all I have to say about the situation. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.